Behind me is the brand new Renault Rafale. It comes from an airplane. I don't know if you know the story, but I'm not going to go into these details because today we don't have also the price, but today we will do the review. I mean, exterior, interior, all the details uh, will be in this video. So I try to cover as much as I can because here are a lot of people today, so they try to film, it's the press day, so everybody want to film and it's kind of complicated, but I still want to give you a few words about the car. Rafal, for those of you that don't know, it's kind of the top end version. If you want to get the biggest, the nicest, uh, the more refined and the latest this one, and the biggest this one, I think this will be the one and it's incredible i mean i see the car before i go inside i play with multimedia i look at the angles and the quality materials and the car it's phenomenal i have to tell you that uh what renault did in the last years it's really really good really good quality of course this is the top of the range version that means it's esprit alfin that means it comes with special rims special trim much better look uh, we have matrix LED lights uh, and we have special interior and much more about the car. So you can see here on the side Esprit Alpine, we have 20 inch rims that looks gorgeous on the car. It comes with Bridgestone tires, ventilation, uh, ventilated brake discs on the rear and also uh, on the front. Yeah, so uh, that's something to keep in mind. On the right side, we have the tank and I like the fact that it comes with easy fueling. Keep in mind that while we go a little bit backwards to show you that beautiful back of the car with those LED lights. Guys, on Renault cars in the last year and also on the newest models, you don't find any halogen light. Everything is LED, the tail lights LED, even the lights from the number plate, it's LED and they look in a big way. It's kind of a three dimensional design. If you look closer there, if you go into detail a little bit closer, you will see the three-dimensional design, uh, but in reality, it looks much, much better. Look at this. Even from this angle, it looks just, just gorgeous. Really nice. The roof spoiler look gorgeous. Check out the roof spoiler, the way it comes down there with the lines. Even the radio antenna look phenomenal. Down here, it comes really, really clean in the back here. It has a quite quite nice uh, design added to it and also to improve the aerodynamic it's kind of a coupe look if you look from this area it looks a little bit like a coupe uh, look but in general really nice the down part the bumper look also spectacular it's quite sporty with some glossy piano black there and other than that we don't see any exhaust pipe so everything is quite quite clean also in the back Rafale writing on the back with a new brand new Renault logo uh, LED lights also on the number plate with uh, reverse camera. We have it also right there. You can see it from this end area. And here we have the fog lamps on the right side on the bumper. So uh, this is the back of the car. The brake light are here in this area. And also around the edges of the window on the upper side, we have some glossy plastic mat here in this area. The quality of the doors quite good the same as on other Renault cars for example on uh, Austral for example it's quite quite, quite the same uh, other than that the color fit quite well now I like the fact that here around the edges of the wheels we have this plastic to protect the wheels and also this plastic it's uh, very nice it's very nice integrated here and also we have it down here on the down skirt and it looks really really interesting other than that i'm not sure why they still leave those handles they are quite normal handles i wish to see something integrated in the body of the of the car you know so improve aerodynamic but also to look a little bit better other than the doors everything else look great big mirrors actually they are huge blind spot technology in the corner uh, here we have led lights so turning signals i'll try to show you later we have the camera, 360 degrees camera, and yeah, those rims, uh, you already uh, saw them before. That looks nice. Let me show you the lights. So we have LED matrix vision, they call it, and it's matrix LED light. And look at them inside there. You can see the colors there. They are so different. They look so interesting, much more different than what we see on other cars manufacturers. And from my point of view, uh, they're one of the best down there we have the daytime running light and also in this area when you turn on the the hazard light but if we go a little bit backward and if you look at the car from this angle 
you will see that uh, the design of the car, uh, it's quite, quite nice. And also if you go in the front, you can see the grille, how nice they designed the grille and also a special grille. It's kind of a double colors and they wanna change the color depending how you move around it. They can, they, it can change somehow the color. It's kind of a snake design. You can see from some angle, you don't see it from some angle, you see it a little bit more. It's quite interesting. I will show you a little bit closer here. Behind the logo, we have the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, all that safety features. The front camera for 360 degrees camera. One more time, you can see the LED lights. Super cool. And then you can see the bumper down here. Really, really nice, clean bumper. And also some glossy plastic on the down part. Quite sporty. On the windshield, we have the camera and sensors for uh, yeah, the, the cameras are for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that safety features are working together uh, with the car there. Um, now let me go in the trunk to show you the trunk. This is really interesting. The, the button is down here, automatic lift gate on the trunk. Quite big opening and you can fit in here big items without any problem. The only downside that I find it is the fact that we don't have a flat floor. So you have some aluminum plate. I like that very much. That signify premium, good quality, but it's a little bit higher, you know, that means it's quite hard to put the things in and you don't have a flat floor. This is something that I wish to see here. You have like 20, well, I think 15, 20 centimeters here. Deepness, some hooks, LED lights here. Uh, 12 volt port also on the right side. Under the floor, let me show you, you have a spare tire, a huge space there. If you take out the spare tire, you will save so much space. In some countries like Switzerland, for example, you don't even need a spare tire or Germany because the roads are really good. And also in some other countries in Europe as well. But in general, very big entrance. Up here, you have some handles to close it, but you have also the button to close the trunk. And then here, you have also some protection for the trunk that you can take it out super, super easy. In general, big entrance, a lot of space right here. And another plus for the car is the fact that you can fold down the middle part in order to carry long items. And then in the same time to have two passengers on the left and right. So like skis, if you go to ski, you can do that. But for a family, it's more than enough space here. I mean, the space in the trunk, it's huge. Now, if I go on the side, I want to show you something here because the way as Renault designed the new Scenic and also on this Rafale, they did the same cool uh, move. They moved the windows on the door completely. That means no window on the body of the car that allow it to make it a little bit more sporty, more coupe -ish look. And we have a bigger entrance, a bigger door, but bigger entrance in the car. And the entrance is incredible big. It's actually huge. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's huge. And also tinted windows, one fixed window, one window that can be pulled down. And I want to show you how much you can fold it down almost completely. This is impressive because it's really big. Uh, on the upper side here, we have kind of a plastic, but good quality plastic, I should say. I didn't notice it. Even if when you touch it, it feels quite different than others. Uh, and here we have leather. We can see the Alpine and also the flag of France here, the, the handle in glossy black plastic. We have a speaker and again, the button, the handles, uh, the stitches. And also inside here, we have a very nice colored uh, stock material in the door bands. So really interesting is for the first time when I see the door bands in other color and it looks like an ambient light. It looks really interesting. I like that. This is a unique thing and they come with a lot of unique elements and I will show you everything. Speaker here. Entrance is big, huge, not big. You can see another unique and unique element is the roof that right now it's completely blur and you can also make it clear in the front. And I will show you when we go there, really interesting all over the roof. Then you can see the space. It's crazy big. I mean, you have a lot of space here inside the car. Also, you can see the seats. We have this combination of leather with stuff material. And here is leather, here is stuff material, good quality, isofix for child. You can install two child seats. You have side support. You have the possibility to lift this armrest. And this armrest, it's really special. It's the same one as they use on the new Scenic. 
and here you have leather super good quality two cup holders you can even open this like that you have some space here for different items you can put it like that for a tablet or wherever you want to uh, use it for and then you have USB-C two ports here super cool I really like that and the quality feel incredible incredible good now going inside the car you can see that the space it's huge I'm 173 centimeters so the space it's incredible good I mean for me at least it's great you can stretch your legs under the front seats without any problem the space on the head it's like five six fingers over my head it's kind of a coupeish look so it's normal it comes a little bit lower but it's still plenty of space also you have some LED lights the quality of the roof it's very good I will give it from one to ten and eight here handle hooks and behind the front seat we have kind of a rubber nice rubber storage space right here uh, here you already see two USB ports some vents here in the back really good quality and I like the fact that uh, let me put this back I like the fact that the transmission tunnel is not that big it's like five centimeters and once you go here in the middle you will see that this is a little bit softer so once I'm going here this is the space on my knees knee space here stay with the legs together plenty of space in the front and also on the head like four fingers stretch my hand yeah almost completely and also here completely yeah I, I should say it's a lot of space for free person here and also here I love the fact that they make it soft and even on the back I didn't expect to be so soft and nice I think even for medium trips 500 kilometers 600 you can stay here in the middle in the back without any problem and you will don't feel any uh, discomfort I should say the visibility on the roof it's also quite nice we will go in the front and we will talk about the design of the dashboard that from my point of view it's crazy futuristic I love the steering wheel I love the multimedia system and the Google map and all that stuff that comes with so yeah let's go in the front and let me show you guys let's go in the front here is the door much better quality on the upper side we have soft materials no more plastic here we have leather uh, we have the flag of France one more time from Esprit Alpin then we have leather here super good quality materials and I love this unique element here that the color is different speaker again Harman Kardon speakers very very good sound system on the car Alpin again here on the plate aluminum pedals we have the electric adjustable seats from here great seats leather combination with tough material and here behind this A it's an LED light so in the nighttime you can see it in blue I don't know why it's not working right now great seats in terms of quality the seats are phenomenal and also they are perforated with a little bit of bluish color there look gorgeous some Alcantara some leather side support very nice seats electric adjustable seats so here we have some storage space electronic handbrake auto hold we have the button also for those safety features the vents are up here the steering wheel it's I don't even need to tell you I love it uh, the way it looks the steering wheel it's super super nice and once I'm going inside here you will see that you have to adjust the steering wheel manually down up forward uh, and also it works really fast I like the adjustment it feels good quality the new logo and the new design here I never saw it before so it's something unique as well uh, then we have also the pedals to change the gears I guess no it's just for the battery you can recuperate the energy of the battery you can change the different driving modes from here you have personal mode you have uh, comfort echo and you have a few driving modes and I think it's locked the screen right I'm not sure why and also this one probably no more battery but in terms of screen and digital cockpit I made a separate video on my channel with it it was from uh, Renault Scenic also it comes with a head-up display by the way so if you want to see the multimedia and the cockpit also the head-up display I see it it's super bright and directly on the windscreen you have a great visibility on it super super bright uh, if you want to see those two check out I have a separate video on my channel with them they are really good the latest is on the market but now the 12 volt battery it's uh, almost dying right now and that's why it's not working some Alcantara here on the steering wheel on the down part but other than that super nice steering wheel the grip the size the design it's lovely then behind also controllers for the uh, media source here in the middle some storage space so you have some storage space with some LED light then we have some glossy plastic the stitches in blue and also this Iceland that's moving like a boat 
and then you have storage space down here wireless charging for your phone two cup holders two USB-C, one 12 volt port, some storage space here. Then we have some glossy plastic, the vents, and then you press this one and you open the glow box that it's relatively big. And I like the fact that the door these days, this is a new trend, it's much more smaller and a lot of space down there. Other than that, good quality. And then you have Harman Kardon speaker, another speaker in the front, head up display. And uh, it's relatively fine. I mean, the quality here and the way I stay here, the visibility on the cockpit, it's quite good. Up here, you have also a mirror, so you can see what is behind and also glasses support. From here, check this out, guys. Look at the roof. From here, you can turn and make it clear or you can make it dull or bluer i should say check this out it looks really interesting and you can do it all completely really interesting this is also another unique thing on the car here we have also a mirror led light up there the mirror here is great and yeah it's great i mean in terms of visibility in the back you have a good visibility and also i like the fact that it has nice tiny edges more about this multimedia i will have a separate video soon also the, the engine and also the electric motor parts. That was the video. I hope you get some useful information from this video. I think here it's ending. Everybody will go home now. Uh, I have to get my battery from charging. Uh, this is the Rafale, Renault Rafale. From what I saw here at the fast information, fast resume, I can tell you that it's a very well-built car, super good, high quality, as, at least on this Esprit Alpine version. I think it's definitely worth to take into consideration. I can't wait to see the price. It will come on the market, I think, at the beginning of next year, in Europe at least. And we will see more information as we go on the year. But as soon as I get it for a test drive, full review, stay close because I will give you a lot of information. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.